Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my round 3 tips and predictions. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So starting off with a pretty big game. It's going to be Geelong versus Adelaide. So far I think Geelong are first and have definitely proven to be the best team pretty much by far this year. Them and Port have done pretty well in my opinion and I think that Geelong, even though a lot of people predicted they were going to be on the downfall this year, I think that a lot, a, a little bit might change because, you know, they've got some young talent here and there, and their team is looking pretty good. I don't know if they will make top four. I think they still probably can and probably might. But anyway, with the tips now, it's Adelaide versus Geelong. Obviously, Adelaide have been very disappointing, as we know. And if you asked me maybe a week ago or before the season even started who I thought Adelaide versus Geelong, it's at Adelaide Oval. So I probably would have tipped Adelaide, but... This year, we've already seen them play at Adelaide Oval against Hawthorne, and they did not play well at all. So, I think I am going to have to tip Geelong for this one, and I think Geelong should get the win and should cement themselves as the number one spot in the AFL. So, that's just what I personally think, but because it's at Adelaide Oval, I don't think that you can really rule Adelaide out straight away there. Anyway, the next one we have is Melbourne versus Essendon, and this would decide... I think whose season will be over and whose won't be. Whoever wins this game, it is at the MCG, obviously. And I think, you know, both teams were hoping to make the eight this year. Melbourne maybe top four. Essendon just, you know, trying to push it and get into the top eight. And if top four was on their radar, you know, that'd be pretty good too. But both teams have started zero and two. And I do believe that, I think Melbourne, they just have too much talent to waste. And I just don't. I can't see them losing, so yeah, so I will be going with Melbourne as I do believe they should win, and yeah, I, I'm tipping them because I reckon they would win, and I just don't know if Essendon are going to make the 8 this year. If they start 0-3, I think it's, you know, it's probably not going to happen already, so I don't really know, so yeah, Melbourne should get the win, so anyway, the next one we have is Carlton versus Sydney, another game where one of these teams is going to have to go 0-3, and, and I think that you know, I, it's definitely a real interesting one. I still don't think Sydney are that good at home. I don't really know. I've never really trusted Sydney at home too much. But this game's actually at Marvel. And from a member, and Sydney actually play very good at Marvel Stadium. So, I am going to have the back in Carlton versus Sydney here. And I do think Sydney have way more talent, obviously. And I still believe that Carlton will most likely finish last this year as... I don't really know what teams are worse than them. Obviously, before the season started, I'd probably say Gold Coast. But you've seen Gold Coast play this year, and they look like they're going to be really good. Alex Sexton obviously seems to be a great player. So, I do believe Sydney should get the win. Anyway, the next one we have is another very, very important game for both teams' season. I think that even if either team loses this season, they'll obviously still make the AN. Probably, I think both teams will... I think Richmond will obviously make the four. And I do believe GWS have a massive chance of making the four. But if Richmond lose this game, they will be versing Adelaide... Um, Port Adelaide at Adelaide next... Um, the week after that. So, very important game for Richmond. And obviously, GWS want to start their season strong. So, another important game for GWS. But I think that... It's gonna come. To, it's gonna really come up to who plays for Richmond. I think that if Oleg Markov... I'm, sh I'm sure... If you're a Richmond fan, you guys know who Oleg Markov is. If he plays, I don't know if Richmond going to win. Like, I'm actually, I'm only, I'm only, like, joking here. But honestly, if Oleg Markov does get a game and a couple of other players that also get a game, I can't, I don't know if Richmond will win. I think Richmond need a couple players back. And I do believe a couple will be coming back. Obviously, Ryan Garso will be coming in. Noah Bolter will be coming in, hopefully. And then um, maybe Josh Caddy, if he's fully, you know, fit. But... I just don't know what Richmond was thinking. They needed a second Ruckman and another tall after Alex Rance's injury. and But they took out Noah Bolter and replaced him with Oleg Markov. See, just decisions like that, like, I think that's why Richmond, one of the reasons Richmond lost to Collingwood. So, I think that if Richmond can get their team in order and actually select, uh, you know, the best fully fit 22, I do believe they will beat GWS, but if not, and... You know, I just think that GWS have a massive chance to win this. But, yeah, as a Richmond fan, I believe that if we beat GWS this week, we'll probably lose to Adelaide the week after. But if we lose to GWS this week, we'll beat Adelaide the week after. I'm um, Port Adelaide. So, I don't really know why I think that. But I'm sure if you're a Richmond fan, you can probably agree. But, yeah, I don't really know why. But, anyway, the next one we have is Port Adelaide versus Brisbane. The two informed teams 
Who will win it? It's definitely a very big question. Obviously, I think Brisbane are number two on the leaderboard. I'm pretty sure Port Adelaide are in the top four. I don't remember, though, but I do believe Brisbane will win this game. It's at the Gabba, and Brisbane are exceptional wherever they play, and I do believe Brisbane will get their third win in a row. I don't know why. I just think that Brisbane's list is so good this year, and it's just building to something special. And I think Port Adelaide's list is also good, but... I don't really know. I just think that Brisbane's list has it and will probably get the win. I don't really know why, but yeah, I do. I am backing in Brisbane for this one. And the next game, I've been thinking about this for a couple of days now, and I still can't decide who I think is going to win out of Collingwood and West Coast. I've actually tipped Collingwood to lose the past two weeks, and obviously one of them ended up being a fact. And Richmond obviously did not play well against Collingwood at all, and I lost that tip, but... Oh, I, I just can't decide for this one. Sorry, guys. So, this will probably be my first, I think, my first really big one that I can't decide this season. I'm going to I'm gonna probably say that it's just going to be the better team on the day. It's at the MCG, which is obviously Collingwood's, you know, best at. But I think I am going to have to say probably Collingwood, I think. But, yeah, I don't know. It's a 50-50 don't take it in that I said Collingwood because I really don't know. I do believe West Coast are probably going to win it, but I also believe Collingwood are going to win it. I really don't know. It's it's definitely a 50-50 whoever plays better on the day, and I think a lot of you guys who are watching at home would definitely agree with me that it's probably going to be a 50-50. All right, the next one we have is Western Bulldogs versus Gold Coast, and I think that um, if this game was at Metricon, you know, Gold Coast home stadium, I think it would be a lot more even, but... This game is at Marvel Stadium, and you know, Bulldogs have had such a such a real hot start. They've won their first um, first two games, and I do believe they'll probably win their third game in a row. I, like, I wouldn't, like, thought I would be saying that before the season started, but, you know, I do believe that they probably will win their third game in a row. Not saying the Gold Coast haven't been good this season. They have been pretty good. I mean, their first game, I think they only lost by a little bit or something like that. I don't really remember. Second game, they actually ended up beating Fremantle, and plays like Alex Sexton played so well, and they had such good team footy, and I don't know, their team just seems to be developing really nicely, and I think a lot of people are really sleeping on, or have actually forgotten the plays that they took at, like, pick four and seven and stuff like that in 2014, like, Ben Ainsworth, he is so good, and I just, I just think that, you know, with the development that Gold Coast has been having recently, I think that players like Ben Ainsworth are going to take Gold Coast to a good place if he does end up staying. And obviously, Alex Sexton, who's actually the leading goal kicker in the AFL at the moment, puts um, put pen to the paper, and he now will be with Gold Coast for another four years or so of his career. So, massive news for Gold Coast. But yeah, I do believe Western Bulldogs should and most likely will get the win. Anyway, the next game that we have is North Melbourne versus Hawthorne, and it is a redemption round for both teams. Obviously, Hawthorne didn't have exactly the best game the week before, and North Melbourne are still yet to have a win to their season. So, I think that, I'm sorry, North Melbourne fans, but I do believe you'll probably be starting 0-3 and three for the season. It's at the MCG, and I think that Hawthorne really want to, you know, mark themselves in this competition, and last year they had one or two players coming back from a certain injury. Obviously, Tom Scully um, had that big injury and just recently made his comeback game. So, you could blame it a little bit on that, but you could also not. But I do believe that Hawthorne, they're going to be a lot fitter this week, and I think they will be able to end up knocking North Melbourne um, and making them go 0-3 and three and practically ruining their finals hope. So, yeah, I was kind of actually hoping North Melbourne would do pretty well this year, and I actually thought they might finish 10th or so, but the way it's looking, who really knows what's going to happen? I still think they're chasing that next star in the free agency, and obviously, if you saw my Josh Kelly video, I do believe they're a very big front runner to get Josh Kelly. So if you guys want to go check that video out, link in the description down below, or just go on my channel. It was uploaded like a week ago or whatever, but yeah, go check that out. That If you're a North Melbourne fan, a Carlton fan, or Essendon fan, you're definitely going to want to check it out. So, yeah, next game we have is Fremantle versus St. Kilda. And I think that, you know, St. Kilda, hot start, two wins. Um, Fremantle, they play pretty good in their first game. Second game, obviously, lost to the Suns. But it's at Optus. And from a member, and St. Kilda do play very, very good at Optus. So, I think this one's definitely going to come down the wire. And I think that 
if I was to if I was to pick a team, I probably am gonna, I'm gonna have to say Freeman or just based on the fact that it is our Optus. But I do know St Kilda do play pretty good at Optus, so you know I'm not exactly saying that St Kilda don't have any chance to win this game. So yeah, I do believe it's probably gonna be a 50-50 unless you know there is still a chance one team does get smashed as. These two teams, I wouldn't say, are exactly the best. I do believe Freeman will have a chance of making the eight, but I'm not too sure about St. Kilda just yet. But yeah, those are my tips and predictions, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all the latest footy card and AFL content. Also, comment in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of my tips and predictions? Do you agree with them? i definitely like to hear your thoughts and opinions on them, and just comment who you guys tip down below. i definitely like to know. Also, go subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRL slash vlogging channel. Link in the description down below. It'd, um, it'd be really supportive if you guys could go please subscribe to them. Give a couple of videos of them a watch and even comment on those videos and give them a like. You know, it'd mean a lot to me and I would really like the support from you guys here. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.